Hey guys, for this week's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to recreate this fawn makeup, and if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is put your hair in a bun. Beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 beep, beep, beep. First thing you got to do is cover your entire face in a light foundation. The brand I used was CoverGirl Cream Ivory in shade 205, and just make sure to cover your entire face. And here is where I realized I had an awkward tan line from track season. Ugh. And also make sure to get your entire neck so you can also cover the tan line, but it won't be as noticeable with your hair down. Next, you have to apply a powder to set your foundation so you don't look oily. I stood up so I didn't get any loose powder on my bed. That's just the worst. Now take a black eyeshadow and blend it into a crease under your nose. I don't know what it's called. The face palette I use is called Fantasy Maker, but any one will work. Now using an angled brush, I'm pretty sure I got from Kmart for like $3. I'm dipping it into the black face paint and using it to make the nose. I then realized it was slightly crooked, so I went back and evened it out. Then take the black and slightly draw the line to your lips. This step is optional if you want to or not, but I like defining my cupids bow and just making my upper lip black for a fawn slash deer makeup like this. It only matters if it's worth it. So does it even matter at Next, I'm just taking an ordinary paintbrush and I'm going to start creating the white dots. If your brush is square like mine, I suggest twisting it to get a circle effect instead of just getting a line. I'm then going in with an orangish red from the Ulta blush palette I have and kind of accentuating my cheekbones so I felt like they needed something. But this also somewhat took off the white dots, so I'm just going over them again. I'm then using my favorite angled brush and doing a sort of arch-ish thing under my eyes with a black eyeshadow and don't worry about it being neat yet because you are going to be blending most of it out with an eyeshadow brush. Then taking a clean makeup brush, go under your eyes with a white sparkly eyeshadow. I'm then going to take an eyeliner pencil from New York City Color in White and just apply it on my waterline. This is going to give my eyes a doe-like effect. I'm then going to take that eyeshadow brush I was talking about and buff out those black lines. Next, take your favorite eyeliner. I'm using New York Color in Black and just apply a winged eyeliner. I'm not going to show much of this because eyeliner is hard and it takes me a while to get it right. Next, take an eyeshadow brush and apply the same white shimmery eyeshadow that you applied underneath your eye to your entire lid. 
Now take the angled brush and some black paint and just outline the creases of your eyes to make them look bigger. Next, take the same angled brush and some black eyeliner and do little triangles in the corners of your eyes. However long or short you want them is really determined by preference, but I'd suggest doing them a little darker than I did. Again, with my oh so favorite angled brush, take a light brown or whatever color your eyebrows are and just fill them in and shape them. And the last makeup step is to take your favorite mascara, mine is Miss Manga by L'Oreal, and apply it. I think we all know how to do mascara. Now just take your hair out of that fabulous bun, apply some elf ears if you have them. I didn't even bother gluing them down, I was just putting them on for a video. Then just put on a flower crown if you have one. And boom! Instant Fawn Princess. Okay guys, so that was my video for this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!